Ladies and gentlemen, pupils of Coltrane High School, colleagues and any visitors, welcome to this evening's virtual senior phase prize giving. 2020 has been an exceptional year in terms of disruption to normal school life, but that is not going to stop us celebrating as usual the wonderful successes and collective achievements of our pupils, acknowledge those who support and make these achievements possible, and reflect on what makes Colton S a unique community in which to learn. I'm honoured to be a part of the prize giving ceremony tonight and I'm grateful for this opportunity for us to join, albeit virtually, as a school community and congratulate all our high achievers. They've endeavoured to do their best in extraordinary circumstances and I fully believe that their efforts represent the true spirit of our school and its new motto, Believe to Achieve. The prize winners are a true reflection of the shared values we hold in Coltness and our hardworking young people are a credit to the school and indeed an inspiration to us all. It is through their achievements that we are clearly able to see the skill, high expectations and commitment of the staff and pupils of Colton S and our prize winners are perfect examples of what we hope for from all our pupils. Before I hand over to the head teacher, Mr McGilp, I'd like to take the chance to say to our prize winners that tonight is a chance to enjoy the fruits of your labours, forget for a moment all the changes to your routines that were imposed earlier on in the year, learning from your own homes, submitting work online, the anxious wait for your exam results. Be especially proud of your achievements this year, an exceptional year. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to invite Mr McGilp to say a few words. I'd like to welcome you to this year's senior prize giving, albeit in a virtual sense. I'm sure you'll all agree that this year has been very bizarre and unusual in every sense. So we decided that we should follow this trend by doing this in the most unusual and we hope you'll agree, innovative way. This year, I was highly delighted with the school results, even before the Deputy First Minister's announcement that all estimates would be honoured. Even at that time, the school had improved on the previous year in 7 out of 10 measures. The large number of individuals achieving straight A's in S4 and S5 is outstanding, with 11 in S4 and 7 in S5. I'm sure you'll agree that this is a remarkable figure, testament not only to the hard work of the individuals involved, but the members of staff guiding their way also. This year has been particularly pleasing for me looking at results coming in. I miss the buzz of results day, of looking for your own class results, but this year I had the added dimension of picking out the boys from my school football team, who I've grown very fond of as I've seen them develop into fine young men all the way from S1 through to S4. The results that they achieved as a group are remarkable and four of them achieved straight A's, a finer group of young men you could not wish to work with. I'm confident with this batch of young people we are honouring tonight that they will have a number of new faces in the Hall of Fame in a few years to come. I would ask them all to continue to contain the drive, momentum and ambition they currently have over the coming years and make sure, as the school's motto says, believe to achieve. As I have no doubt that they will have the skills and attributes to make a huge impact on whatever fields they choose to follow. Last year we adorned the administration corridor with a few inspirational quotes and I'd like to leave you with one of them by Walt Disney, nonetheless, who said, if you can dream it, you can do it. And with talent like this in the building, I ask them to dream and to make their dreams come true. I hope you have a lovely evening. Thank you and good night. We now have a wonderful musical interlude for your enjoyment. From the convenience of her own home, a familiar face from our music department will now perform Gravity by Sarah Baralis. Drown in your love 
and not feel your rage. Set me free, leave me be. I don't want to fall another moment into your gravity. Here I am and I stand so tall, just the way I'm supposed to be. And all over me. You loved me because I'm fragile. When I thought that I was strong. But you touched me for a little while. And all my fragile strength is gone. And all over me I live here on my knees As I try to make you see That you're everything I think I need Here on the ground But you're neither friend nor foe Though I can't seem to let you go The one thing that I still know Is that you're keeping me Something always brings me back to you. It never takes too long. We're lucky to have Mr. David Ramage as our school parson, and once again, he has a message for our school community tonight. Hi there, I'd like to add my congratulations and a well done to all the prize winners. Great job. You join me here in the garden. And for a number of months, I've had a wee idea of doing some stuff in the garden just for me, produce some vegetables. And so what I did during lockdown, when I had a little bit more space, I built some uh, raised beds, took some soil, threw it in, then took some uh, little seeds and then threw them in as well. And then look behind me and you'll see what's actually happened. And what we're going to go do is pull something up and see where it is. Let's do that. So what I'd like to do today very quickly is to parallel two life lessons. The first lesson is that you reap what you sow. You already know that. You've sown so many good things to get to this place and your reward is to be part of this ceremony today. However, not only in the academic arena and just in general in life, Whatever we sow, we will reap. If we reap, if we sow good things, then we'll reap good things. Let me give you three little good seeds to sow in life. Firstly is kindness. Be kind to other people. Be also kind to yourself. Also, sow encouragement. Speak well of people. Don't tear people down. Build people up. And then thirdly, accept people for who they are, not who you would like them to be. But there's also another life lesson. Incredibly, I don't know how this works, but within all of that good stuff that I've sown, sometimes weeds come up. Weeds come up and try and choke the good stuff that's there. And you have an option there to let it grow or to try and uproot it or actually uh, put some weed killer on it. There's weeds in our life as well. 
what are the, the weeds in, li in, in our life? They're the, the actions, the, the words that others say to us or do to us that can hurt and can damage us. And at that point, we've, we've not sown it. Other people have sown that into our lives. And we then have a choice. Will we allow that to take root in our lives? Will, will that then um, choke some of the good stuff out of our life and then produce some other not so nice stuff like bitterness, like resentment, like anger? But there is a weed killer that tops the lot. How to deal with weeds in your life? Apply this weed killer. It's called forgiveness. Forgive people when they do all crazy stuff to you because that won't allow those roots in your life to develop. So, finally in conclusion, sow good stuff into your life and watch out for the weeds. Thank you. And now ladies and gentlemen, to the moment we've all been waiting for, our prize winners tonight. We'll start with the individual subject and faculty prizes before moving on to our wider achievement and special awards. You will see our S4 students being awarded at National 4 and National 5 level and our S5 and S6 students at National 5, higher and where appropriate, advanced higher level as well. Ex Labori Lux awards have also been awarded by faculties. As the original school motto suggests, enlightenment and success come from hard work and our prize winners in this category truly reflect this sentiment and have shown commitment to their subjects and will be recognised for their achievements and commitments in that subject. The Aranistan Bronze and Silver Awards. The Aranistan course is run by the PT of Support for Learning, Mrs Yvonne McQuaid, supported by Mrs Corrie McLeish, Mrs Karina Behe and our Homeschool Partnership Officer Ian Anderson. Aranistan promotes the personal development of pupils through various challenges and credit awards. The focus of the course is to enhance pupils' self-esteem, their aspirations and their contributions to the community. Each award programme contains a choice of challenges which will encourage the pupils to become more skilled at improving one's own learning and performance, working with others and problem solving. At the end of the year, pupils are awarded either bronze, silver or gold certification, depending on the amount of credits they achieve. Our bronze awards this year go to Kieran Davidson, Ryan Fleming, Jennifer Henshaw, Kelsey Kelly, Stephen Proctor, Beth Scott, Courtney Tyree, David Wilson and Tamara Wilson. Our silver awards go to Mustafa Ali, David Baird, Taylor Baker, Ryan Bridges, Rhys Campbell, James Arthur McWinney and Kyle Savage. Well done to all our achievers. The Green Construction Trophy is awarded for outstanding service to the school. The winner this year is Chloe Rines. 
Chloe is recognised as a hardworking and diligent student across her subjects, but it is for her wider achievements and commitment to the school in the field of the arts that she's been recognised tonight. In art and design, all her work is exquisite. Chloe is a perfectionist who plans and thinks about her work in great detail, resulting in outstanding, striking work. She's also a capable designer with a natural eye for colour, form and function. Her work can be seen around the school and is part of displays for high profile events and the picture of hers was recently gifted to an associate of the school on her retirement. Chloe is well known for her musical talent and is featured in every school show, concert, service and every other musical event imaginable during her time at Coltness. A confident performer, Chloe is comfortable singing in a variety of styles and her voice has enriched the events she takes part in. Chloe is dependable and professional in these situations and generally brings the house down. Her time and efforts supporting the school are rightly rewarded tonight. Once again, Coates High School was represented fantastically well in the Nuffield Foundation Research Programme during the summer months. This year, Alex Miller, Ashna Nauman and Arij Takir were accepted to take part in the programme after beating off fierce competition from hundreds of UK-wide applicants. Alex linked with St Andrews University to study the effects of oceanic acidification on coral reefs around the world. Ashna linked with Glasgow Caledonian University, looking at replacing and reducing the weight of materials used in electric vehicles in order to improve range and performance. Arij focused on the pedagogy of working with autistic children in schools. Research was conducted remotely and we're extremely proud of our three participants committing to this high level research in the most adverse of circumstances this year. We wish them well in their pursuit of STEM related careers. We now come to our musical prizes. As ever, there was fierce competition for our musical prizes this year from a range of talented musicians specialising in vocals, orchestral instruments and electrics from rock and pop. Furthermore, the school band succeeded in achieving a Gold Plus Award at the Scottish Schools Wind Band competition last November and were due to perform in the finals in Perth in March this year. We look forward to a return to normal circumstances for our musicians soon. The Roy Sneddon Memorial Shield is our overall instrumental prize. This goes to an outstanding instrumentalist who is heavily involved in school band performances, has performed solo at school and charity events, has enjoyed great success as a cast member in numerous school shows and is a real supporter of the music department. She is described as being enthusiastic, organised and fully committed by her teachers. The winner of the Roy Sned Memorial Shield this year is Lucy Gardner. The Graham Moffat Memorial Shield goes to an outstanding musician. The winner this year is an unassuming and dependable when involved in school performances, but he takes on the rock star persona when playing with his band The Latitude, who enjoyed great success at the North Lanarkshire Battle of the Bands this year. The winner of the Graham Moffat Memorial Shield is Rhys Walker. The Helen Stewart Award exists for a person who is committed to the success of the school band, takes a lead role in both the music and organisation of its main engagements and extols the values of playing and creating wonderful music in a group. Due to the dedication of members such as tonight's winner, the band, as mentioned, were successful in achieving a place in the finals of the Scottish Wind Band Championships, which were unfortunately cancelled this year. This member is committed in terms of effort and attendance and is a great role model for younger players. The Helen Stewart Prize for service to the band winner is Alex Miller. We now come to our special sports award, as nominated by the staff of the PE department. The Kevin Muir Award is presented to a pupil who achieves sporting excellence in their chosen field. The winner this year has been recognised as an outstanding performer throughout his time in the senior phase. The winner this year is Alex Fisher. Alex has been a top leader in the CSLA programme, working with younger pupils in our associated primaries, as well as being an instrumental trainer for the championship winning under 15s basketball team. As captain of the senior team, he also led the Coatness team to victory in the finals of the Under-18s Championship. Alex has been commended for his commitment and reliability and is a worthy winner tonight. The Ian Browning Excellence in PE Award goes to Cameron Hogg and David Torrock. Both boys have been recognised as great ambassadors for PE in their work and achievements both in and outside of the school. This includes being part of the championship winning under-18s basketball team and committed sports leaders. 
As our S56 winner, Cameron continues to succeed in golf at a regional level. And as our S4 winner, David has overseen the implementation of the massively popular table tennis club for younger pupils. They too are worthy winners and the PE department are proud of their achievements tonight. The Miss Hillen Award for Diligence in Social Subjects. We have a unique award tonight presented in memory of our dear colleague, Miss Bernadette Hillen, who sadly passed in May. Head of Social Subjects, Miss Anne Craig, tells, Diligent is a word that best describes Miss Hillen, who is committed, hardworking, always created a positive working ethos within her learning and teaching environment, as well as across the whole school community. We've decided that the special prize this year for Diligence, in memory of Miss Hillen, is for Beth Johnson, who's just finished sixth year. Beth enjoyed an excellent relationship with Miss Hillen and like her, always tried her very best, worked hard, never gave up and was always committed, thus resulting in positive achievements throughout her school life. We feel this is a very fitting tribute in memory of Bernadette. Congratulations to Beth, the winner of the Miss Hillen Award for Diligence. The Jean Reed Service to the School Award was created for pupils who go out with the normal expected realms to support the school for the benefit of pupils within. The award this year goes to Brooke Milne. Brooke is present at basically every event that goes on at school. At parents' nights, information evenings, concerts, whenever visitors come to the school, Brooke is a smiling face of Colton S that greets you as you come through the door. After that, she'll be the one showing you around the building or answering questions, getting you tea or coffee, or even providing the information the staff can't give you themselves. As Brooke gets ready to leave us, it really is time for her efforts to be recognised. As a member of Ian Anderson's Cookie Crew, she has been involved in creating films and presentations that have supported pupils both in Coltness High and in the wider school community. Brooke helped create her new motto, Believe to Achieve, when she was in S2, and this has been an excellent adage for her pupils to strive towards. We hope that Brooke is able to achieve her own goals as she embarks on a career in nautical studies with a view to joining the British Navy. In recognition of Brooke's tireless commitment to the Coltness High School community, we would like to award her the Jane Reid Award. The PTA Award this year goes to someone who has offered outstanding service to Colton S. In the middle of the lockdown this year, Miss Tullis from Fashion and Textiles oversaw a remote team of pupils who worked tirelessly to produce face masks for the use of the school community. Sophie Watson is one of those pupils. Skilled with both the machinery and fabrics in the Fashion and Textiles class, she gave up her own time to put her talents to great use for the benefit of others. Sophie has very high standards and always strives to do her best and this is clear in the quality of the product she helped produce. She's a real team player both in and out of the classroom and this super service to the school this year. We are delighted to award her the Coltness High School PTA Award. We are honoured this year to pay tribute to 11 outstanding pupils who achieved the wonderful result of 7A passes at National 5 in the SQA exam diet this year. As a school, we are delighted for their success and it is only right that we make mention of them tonight. As a group, the students have received fantastic plaudits from the teachers, describing them as thoughtful, hardworking and inquisitive, wonderful, mature, creative students, diligent, highly conscientious and courteous. Each teacher paid tribute to their hard work and commitment to homework and attitude towards study. I can confidently agree with my colleagues that if they maintain this attitude, they will be very successful in their future endeavours. They are talented individuals and a credit to the school and their families. Our 7A achievers are Juliana Brown, Zach Campbell, Amber Curry, Sophie Gaskin, Graeme Houston, Jaslyn Coa, Rio McLaughlin, Jay Murdoch, Amy Napier, Morgan Shearer, and Ellie Weir. The Junior Ducks Prize is shared by Jasleen Core and Ellie Weir. The girls teachers have been plaudits upon them, describing them as diligent, perfectionists, displaying natural abilities, but also as team players and generous class members. Jasleen is a voracious reader and hinges her success on finding out about wide-ranging topics. Ellie puts her success down to taking her teacher's direction and notes then finding ways to understand them and making them work in her own terms. Two extremely academic pupils, we wish Jasleen well in her pursuit of a career in law 
and we wish Ellie every success in her pursuit in a career in physics. And so to our penultimate prize tonight, our Proximia Kesset Award. Tonight's award is shared by six extremely able pupils, Alyssa Clifford, Alex Miller, Amy Miller, Chloe Rines, Arij Takia, and Lewis Wilson. These pupils worked tirelessly against the odds this year to achieve an outstanding five A passes in the higher exams. Sweeping uncertainty aside during the lockdown period and fixing resolutely on their studies, comments on this achievement from the teachers underline what we already know about these dedicated pupils. It has been a pleasure to teach. They are extremely hard working with a super work ethic. They are driven to succeed. They worked tirelessly and were willing to go the extra mile to ensure their understanding. They were supportive of their peers and were willing to help others. They were modest about their achievements. In conclusion, I'd say that these pupils are fantastic ambassadors of the ethos we wish to promote as a school and a credit to their proud teachers and parents. We wish them all success in their future endeavours. And so to our final prize, our School Ducks Award for 2020. Our winner tonight is Ashna Nauman. Ashna has been an outstanding student. She's continued to build on her academic success of last year, where she achieved seven A's at National 5 level, with an outstanding haul of five higher A passes in English, Maths, Physics, Art and Graphics this year. Ashna's teachers describe a totally committed student with a conscientious work ethic. It is well known that her work is always immaculate in terms of both content and presentation. She's quiet and self-effacing, but her determination and self-motivation is well known. Ashna tells that her success is due to a consistent approach to her work and study and she was able to stay calm and focused when working from home this year. I am truly confident and I know that my colleagues share the same sentiments that Ashna will excel in her chosen career path and will go on to great things. I know you will join me in wishing her well in her pursuit of a career in the field of engineering, specifically product design. Ladies and gentlemen, a rapturous virtual round of applause for the Coatness High School Ducks of 2020, Ashna Nauman. Ladies and gentlemen, our virtual ceremony is now over. On behalf of all members of the Coatness High School community, we wish you and your families health and happiness over the new school year. Mm -hmm.